Let's see if we can speed run this, this will be fun. Tap into ADHD. Mm. I'm Ben Timmy Nuga. I make music under the name Jetsy. I'm a multi half Woo! Uh, I am a multi hyphen artist, a conduit of ideas, and a creative masochist. So I just finished book number two, and I'm working on book number three. I write, I take photos, I sing, I rap. I've written a play, two books, made a magazine. I started a podcast called The Catnip Podcast and I actually had the idea whilst I was uh, on the toilet. I'm learning to make clothes, so a bit of everything. Nope. Actually, hi mum, mid-interview. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, I'll speak to you soon. Bye, bye, bye. bye. I need to put my phone on silent, sorry. Oh, no, you should always pick up when it's your mum. It was mum. I was, like, <laughs> I was gonna say no, and I was like, it's mum, fine. THX and please stay blessed to everyone. I find that each different form of creative media is a different language through which I can express myself. So back in the day, I used to have like way too much energy. I was like constantly chattering away in class, always getting in trouble, because I had like all this energy that I wanted to throw into things. I'm with my friend, we're shooting for the magazine. It's not cute at all, really. <laughs> so if I had a song that I wanted all of the people in my life to go and listen to, how could I make that happen? I was like, I'm just going to make a magazine. Hadn't done it before, didn't know what I was doing, but I had time and a laptop. Really and truly, what more do you need? I've released an issue with, I think we had about 30 artists featured in that two weeks ago. I had like a relaunch of it. It was my first time performing, which was really fun as well. And um, so it's just like to promote all the people that I think are cool in my life. If I like your music, I want you in the mag so I can write about you. That's basically it. That's why I made the magazine. The ones who me up when she was hurting me. Thank you for helping me remove that virus from my circuitry. Everyone was like, Harry Potter was so different to the book, but like, Horrid Henry was even more different to the book and nobody talks about that. No, I mean, but that's fine, that's okay. How did nobody clock I was autistic earlier? Just by the way. <laughs> I actually lived the plot of my, of my film and the theme is like, transformation. It's about a young autistic boy who basically falls in love with music. He's got hyperacusis, which is like hypersensitivity to sound. Hyperacusis or hyperacusis? Acusis, it doesn't really matter. H-Y-P-E-R-A-C-U-S-I-S. We haven't made the film yet. Maybe we should. Um, if I'm about, then I try and bell my German G or my buy and sell. I would have been about four years old and my parents bought me this little keyboard. That was like my first tune. I need to make it into a ringtone now that I have a proper keyboard at home. My first open mic just before my 21st birthday in Paris, which is where I was living at the time. Took some time after that, um, started writing songs, wrote my first song, then wrote my second song. The first one that I ever wrote, even though it's four and a half years old, I literally released it last week. I took a cleaning job, that cleaning job turned into a job with the BBC because I was cleaning on the BBC set and they were like, Ben, you write, you direct, you should come and work for us now, like, should be fine. So I went from cleaning toilets to telling Sean Bean to pull his tracksuits out of his socks because he was going to ruin the shop and everybody was scared to talk to Sean Bean and I was like, mate, a month ago I was literally cleaning your skin marks up, I'm not really afraid to talk to anybody on this set, vibes. So after that, I took a bit of time freelancing, which became spicy unemployment. Uh, to the point where I was watching Countdown every day at 10 past 2 on TV. And one day, Anne Robinson turned around and she pointed at me and myself and she said, are you interested in being on Countdown? I was like, yes, Anne, I am. First clock finishes, Ben. Uh, we'll go with a risky seven, not written down. Uh, but it all stems from the same place of wanting to capture ideas. That's my job as a creative person to take that energy that already existed and re-represent re it as opposed to represent it uh, in a manner that you can consume it. Yeah, I would describe myself as an energetic person. My friends would also say it's due to the fact that I'm a Sagittarius. But you are all about words and so creative with it. I hope you don't mind me saying that. Tell me about just how words form such a big part of your life. Um, so wrote a play, directed that last year. Uh, I write my own music, uh, yeah. lyrically, and I've just finished uh, my first book, which I'm gonna publish soon. There you go. I just want